Hi, my name is Dave Watson, and I am the Director of Engineering for Alpha Wire. We've been asked to put together a short video on how to strip our ExtraGuard 5 cable. The ExtraGuard 5 cable is a really great cable, but because of this FEP Teflon jacket, it is pretty difficult to strip. So, before I start, I want to talk a little bit about safety. Uh, I am doing this without safety glasses and without uh, any protection for my hand. Uh, people should evaluate their own situation and uh, determine for themselves if safety glasses are warranted or uh, protection for the hands are warranted. So just wanted to get uh, safety on the table up front and let you make uh, an informed decision on that. But in an office environment, I'm not expecting anything, to, any debris to fly or anything like that. So I am comfortable uh, without any PPE. The next thing I want to talk about is the tooling. I'm really going to use two tools that are um, at least a little specialized. Everything else is something that you would have in a, in a toolbox or what have you. Uh, the tools that I use are happen to be made by Ideal Industries. And, and ironically, these are coaxial cable strippers and we're not going to be using them on coax cables today. The smaller one is uh, Ideal Industries part number 45-165. The larger one is 45-164. As you can see, they're basically identical other than size. What I really like about this tool is it, it, it acts kind of like a clothespin and it has two, um, two different cutting blades. It's got a cutting blade in the front that's adjustable so you can control the depth of cut and you can run this blade along the cable and put a slit in the cable jacket. It's also got two blades um, that you can do a ring cut with. Now I have this set so that only one blade is protruding. So when I do a ring cut, it will only make one cut in the jacket. Uh, the fact that you can set these blades to a controlled depth is really, uh, is really a key feature of these tools and that, that's why I, I've used these tools. These tools are literally 25 plus years old uh, with the original blades in them. And uh, the benefit of, of being able to control the depth is by setting the depth of cut to be not quite the thickness of the jacket, you can make sure that you're not damaging any of the internal components of the cable. So uh, on Extra Guard 5, the jacket thickness happens to be about 27 mils, 27 thousandths of an inch. Um, I would want to cut maybe 20 thousandths through, maybe about three quarters of the way through. Um, I didn't have a uh, depth gauge or a feeler gauge, so I just kind of experimentally determined how, how to set the blades to get this cable to, uh, to strip right. So basically, uh, to strip the cable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ripcord method on this cable. And first thing, of course, is you have to get to the ripcord. Uh, one of the characteristics about Teflon is you, you can see how the jacket follows the uh, convolutions of the cable. Uh, on some cables, I could do a ring cut let's say here, and just sleeve the whole jacket off. Teflon uh, grips it tightly enough where that's not possible. So, as I take the tool, I'm going to do maybe about an inch and a half or so. Give it the old twist. Bend it at the fracture, and it will fracture nice and clean. And then I can get my thumbnail under it and give it a twist following the, the direction of the cable lay and it comes right off. My hand strength isn't going to be enough just to do a little bit, so I'm going to give it just about another length that big, spin my tool on it, bend it at the score, you probably even heard it snap there, and take it off. So now I have the jacket off. This, uh, this piece of paper here is, the, is what we call the, uh, the marker thread, excuse me, the marker tape. It's got the print legend for the cable on it in this case. I am just going to cut it off, get it out of the way so it doesn't annoy us. Really the key thing on Teflon cables, and actually I do this on all cables, is to give the jacket a little, a little help to get, um, a little notch to help get the ripcord started. Um, reverse this so you can see what I'm doing. Um, We've got the cable oriented so that the rip cord, which is this, this yellow um, piece of thread, is pretty much on top of the cable. Um, the rip cords aren't always yellow, sometimes they're white. This, this Kevlar 
Uh, this ripcord has Kevlar in it, so it's, it's got a yellow appearance. But what I'm going to do is take a box cutter. You could use a razor knife or something like that. And I'm just going to give the, the cable just a little, a little slit or a little nick right above the ripcord or right kind of next to the ripcord. One thing you don't want to do is touch the ripcord with the blade of the knife because that would obviously cut or damage the ripcord. So with that done, you get the ripcord started in that groove and pull. Now one thing that I'm going to be very careful to do is, is when I start pulling, I want to pull the ripcord in, in a Teflon cable like this. You can actually see the ripcord through the jacket. I want to pull the ripcord straight up. I don't want to pull off to the side either way because that's going to pull it against the sharp edge of the jacket. So that's one uh, other little trick is, is to pull as straight as you can uh, up the cable. So if my hands would grip properly, you can see that I can just use the ripcord to slip the jacket. Now the other thing I'm trying to do is to keep the orientation of the uh, ripcord pretty perpendicular to the cable. I'm not really pulling like that that's pulling against it because that's putting more force on the ripcord. Pulling pretty much at a 90 degree angle is what you want to do. So that is a uh, cable stripping 101 using a ripcord on an extra guard 5 cable. Thank you for your time.